I came to work for my sushi. <laughs> B2 on City Avenue is the second restaurant in Chef Young Kim's Bluefin Empire. City Line needed a you know good sushi restaurant. There's no good sushi in here. B2 is changing that, and it's their $50 golden Russian roll that has everyone talking. Hold on, a $50 roll. This is a luxe roll. <laughs> it's filled with cream cheese, cucumber, and king crab. It's a little bit too thick. I wanted mine to be like a $75 roll. Topped with fresh bluefin tuna imported from Spain. They're about size about between 400 to 500 pounds. So the little guys. And what makes the price tag so big? We put uh, caviar in it, and then we also put gold flakes. And he's talking actual gold. This is like if you're feeling special. <laughs> you're trying to impress someone. 24 karat gold. Chef Kim says he cooks like a scientist, but when it comes to flavors... Tastes gotta be like your mom. This is the Rolls Royce yeah, of sushi. Cheers. cheers. To our $50 roll. Poke Ono in Ardmore is serving up the popular Hawaiian dish, poke. No, it's not too far off of sushi, and it's the future of sushi. Owner Andrew Daniele discovered the raw fish salad while visiting friends in Hawaii. I had no idea what it was and had lunch with them and decided it would be great to bring this back to the East Coast. As for the name, poke in Hawaiian means to slice or cut into pieces, and ono means delicious in Hawaiian. You can choose your base, protein, and sauce. The spicy tuna is the house favorite. Ahi tuna with a little bit of spicy aioli, sesame seeds, avocado. Chef Kenneth Z of Tuna Bar in Old City describes his menu as a timeline of his life. It's just really authentic from what I grew up with, what I know. He grew up working in his family's South Jersey restaurant. My parents were just hustlers. At the young age, you had to do what you had to do. We had no money. I end up answering phones cooking. His focus is fresh fish and homegrown recipes. Most of the fish he selects by hand from the fish market, the same way he did for his family's business. We couldn't afford to put the fish on the truck. That's how poor we were. So what we did was we and selected it. That was a recipe of success, so I kept it that way. The my fried rice is a variation of his dad's fried rice recipe, and the wonton soup is his grandmother's. It's actually peasant food. Anyone will come in, a couple dollars, and they'll have it. The Cindy rolls are named after his mom. She created a roll back in the day when we opened up our first Japanese restaurant, so I just kind of copied it.